uh, security was ramped up in our stadiums. Was that enough? Well, we're doing a lot more than that. I, in their words, they said this is the beginning of the storm. Uh, we don't know quite what that means, but we know that this plot in Paris went virtually undetected. A very sophisticated, coordinated attack, uh, sort of like what we'd see from Al Qaeda. Um, and uh, we had no warnings about that. Um, right now, I will tell you, there's no specific incredible threat in the United States. Uh, but the fact is, we've arrested over 70 ISIS followers in the United States over the last year. We have active investigations in all 50 states and over 900 uh, active cases against potential ISIS followers in the United States as well. I take this very uh, seriously. And then some of the Iraqi intelligence that when they tried to warn about some plot not being very specific, mm. uh, they talked about plots in Europe, but yes. also in the United States. Of course. And so um, I, I, we want to stop that storm from hitting the United States and the homeland. Mr. Chairman, when I when I look at this, uh, we know that one of the terrorists was a refugee passport found outside that stadium. Yet the Obama administration plans to accept 10,000 Syrian refugees by the end of this year. Americans are concerned. We just had Lieutenant Colonel, Colonel Allen West on our program a short while ago, and he indicated, he said, look, a solution here is that no fighting age males coming in between the ages of 16 and 40 should be allowed into the United States, that we need to get more serious about this. Where do you stand on that? Is that enough? Well, I, I filed a bill to have Congress uh, approve or disapprove this. I, I think Congress and the American people deserve a voice as to whether we bring in 10,000 Syrian refugees. We know that one and possibly uh, as many as two of these terrorists that, that perpetrated this uh, were Syrian refugees. We know that ISIS, in their own words, have said, we want to uh, exploit the program to infiltrate the West. And that's exactly what they did. I think it would be highly irresponsible to bring in 10,000 Syrian refugees at this point in time. I've called upon the president to suspend uh, this program. I've had testimony before my committee, both the FBI and Homeland Security, warning me about the national security risks of bringing in military age males uh, into the United States, like what we've seen now in Paris, that could kill Americans. I think our first and foremost responsibility, we're a humanitarian nation. It is a tragedy, but first and foremost, we have to pr protect Americans in the homeland. Absolutely. Well said. What, what's your feeling on this? A lot of people feel as though this administration's in denial just two days after the Paris bloodshed, Chairman. The, the Obama administration released five Gitmo detainees to the UAE. Is now the time to be doing something like this? No, absolutely not. I mean, to shut down Guantanamo, bring in the worst of the worst. I saw Khalid Sheikh Mohammed down there, evil incarnate, mastermind 9-11. I don't want him uh, in the United States of America, and I don't think most Americans do. And to say that ISIS is contained, uh, for God's sakes, I'd hate to see ISIS unleashed. Uh, we've had three external operations of huge proportions, a Russian airliner, Lebanon, and now the deadliest attack in France since World War II, um, and to say they're contained. And that's the problem, quite frankly, Elizabeth. He's had a policy of containment, not one to defeat and destroy ISIS. And until we get to the core and destroy ISIS at its core, we're going to continue to have these homeland security issues, not only uh, in Europe, but also the United States. Words of warning today. Chairman McCall, it's great to see you here. Thanks, Elizabeth.